So um, we have the Kumara Jiva. And now along came cancer vision. Um, a lot of my friends, a lot of my um, friends who are really devoted to cancer lineage, they have been uh, eager and uh, have the aspiration to translate the words of the and the work works of Jamia Chinsi Wangpo. I think. Um, Jamian Chinsi Wangpo's work is important because not only the contents of what you are translating, the works of Jamian Chinsi Wangpo, there are a lot of it, but the significance of Jamian Chinsi Wangpo's work also lies with the economy or the non-sectarian or uh, what it represents. Because many times um, in, for Mm, ordinary people, um, Buddhist, different schools of Buddhism, different tradition of Buddhism, uh, not only in different parts of the world, but even within Tibetan, uh, the different schools are almost approached as if they are totally sort of a, mm, separate. But this has never been the case. The, the, different, the different schools of Buddhism in general, generally in the world and especially in Tibet, they have, they have all brought their nuances, their richness, and they have incredible, unthinkable, you know, mm, flavor. And by the time, during the 18th century, around that time already, many of these nuances were declining and degenerating. So, Jamei um, Chense Wangpo, along with Jamgun Lothar Wangpo and Jamgun Kondru Lothar they have really worked hard keeping those things alive. So, I consider Kense Vision's uh, endeavor very important. So, uh, even though as I said earlier, we know we have a lot of things to do. Mm. I urge everyone to uh, participate with this, those who have time and uh, aspiration. Uh, in one way, one should never think with the Dharma, there's a lot of things to do. Okay. <laughs>